I'm Aaron Merch from 2H Media. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create dynamic product stories in the Impulse theme on Shopify. If you open up a preview of the Impulse theme and navigate to a product page, you'll see a section in the left-hand navigation titled Product Story. Within this section, you can add any number of custom blocks to make the product page a lot more engaging. By default, the product story appears across all products on your online store. At the end of this video, you'll know how to create unique product stories that only appear on products with a specific tag. In order to achieve this expanded functionality, we have to make a few simple changes to the theme's code files, so let's go ahead and edit the code in the back end of Shopify. From the Shopify dashboard, select Online Store in the left-hand navigation. From the Themes page, select Actions, Edit Code next to the Impulse theme. Before manually editing the code files, we highly recommend creating a backup of the theme so you're not working on your only copy. Within the code editor, you need to find two specific theme files in the left-hand navigation. Go ahead and open up product.liquid as well as productstorysections.liquid. The first thing you need to do is select all of the code within productstorysections.liquid and copy it to the clipboard. Next, locate the Sections folder in the left-hand navigation and click Add a new section. In the modal that appears, enter a name for your new section. We recommend naming it based on the tag you're going to use to filter for this section, as well as the word Story. In this example, we're going to call our new section Rubber Duck Story. After you've entered a name for your section, click the Create Section button and a new file will appear in the editor. Within the new file, delete all of the default content and paste in the content we copied from the Product Story Sections file. Scroll to the top of the file and locate the line where it says Product Story on line 5. Replace the words Product Story with a new name for your section. In this example, we're going to enter Rubber Duck Story. With your new section set up, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen and then open up the product.liquid file. This is where the fun begins. On line two of this file, we're going to replace the call to the product sections template with a simple if statement that checks for specific product tags. Let's break down what each line of this if statement means. In this example, we've entered if product.tags contains rubber duck story. Rubber duck story is the name of the tag we're going to use to determine which products to display the story on. Change that to whichever tag you would like to use to call your product story. The next line, where it says section rubber duck story, calls the custom section we created earlier in this video. Where we've entered rubber duck story, change this to whatever name you gave your section earlier in the video. The last new line we're adding says end if, and simply tells Shopify to continue executing the rest of the code in this file. If you're not sure about retyping this code yourself, check the video description for a block of code you can go ahead and copy-paste into the file. All you'll need to do is change the references to Rubber Duck Story to match whatever you've called your custom template. In order to create unique sections for any number of product tags, simply repeat the process we've just gone through, creating new sections for each tag, and then pasting that if statement into this file. We've gone ahead and created a version of the product.liquid file that includes several different templates all in a row. It's important to note that when you add additional if statements, you're not replacing the ones you entered previously, you're simply entering them on a new line within the product.liquid file. Once you're satisfied with your changes, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you've stuck with me so far, you're through the hardest part of the video. Next, we need to go ahead and apply these product stories to any number of products. To do so, keep in mind the tags you created for your if statements because we'll need to apply those tags to any number of products. From the product page, locate the tags section on the right-hand side of the page. You'll see that I've already tagged this product with Rubber Duck Story. This means that my Rubber Duck Story section will be displayed in the front end of Shopify when this product page is loaded. To customize the content of a product story, go ahead and open up the customizer by clicking Online Store in the left-hand navigation and clicking Customize. Within the customizer, navigate to one of the products that you've just tagged. In the left-hand navigation, where it used to say Product Story, you should see your custom product story displayed. In this example, my product story is labeled Rubber Duck Story. 
If I navigate to any of the other product pages for which I've created a custom tag, I should see a different product story in the left-hand navigation. You'll also note that only the product stories associated with this product's tags appear in the left-hand navigation. In order to modify a different product story, I have to navigate to a product page that is tagged to include that product story. So there you have it. If you followed along with this entire video, you should now know how to modify the impulse theme to include dynamic product stories based on product tags.